Hey guys, this is Nathan, that I'm reviewer guy. And I'm here to review another album. Sorry about that. Here to review another album. I'm going to be reviewing the new Theory of a Dead Man album, Savages. I've heard good things, and I've heard bad things about this album. Now it's finally time to hear what I think of the album. But first, you guys know that I did put up a video of my top 10 Canadian bands a while ago. Fear of a Dead Man was on that list. Think about that. Uh, yeah, anyway, this is the band's fifth album. Drown, of course, the lead single off the album, opens the album. I like this song from the first time I heard it. I think it really shows the dark side of the band, so, you know, that's something different for Theory of a Dead Man. Uh, Blow, the next song, does not follow up on the dark tone of Drown. It's your basic Theory of a Dead Man song, which I usually enjoy, but this one doesn't really do anything for me. Then the title track, Savages, has a darker tone as well, which makes sense considering the fact that Alice Cooper is featured on this track. His presence is felt, but it's not as noticeable as I would like it to be. But it is a decent track, though. I don't see why people don't like it, in all honesty. Alice Cooper, they say he's, like, invisible. He's not. He's not. You can tell he's there. It's just not as noticeable as you'd like it to be. It's not like Tom Morello on Drawbar, that Linkin Park song that came out earlier this year. Goodness. Anyway, Misery of Mankind is another solid track. It has a very driving guitar part, and the lyrics are presented very well in this one. Then we get an Assault in the Wound, which is another solid, heavier, darker track. This track features a slight scream, which is very rare for Theory of a Dead Man. Uh, the feel of the album changes, though, when it reaches the song Angel. This is a softer track that gives off a little bit of a pop vibe. I won't say the song is bad, but it's nothing too special. Then the album gets back into its heavy vibe with... Well, with heavy. I like the heaviness of the instrumentals on this one, but I'm not a big fan of the vocals on the track. Then we get into Panic Room, which is another driving track that I'm really digging. Uh, the vocals and instrumentals match pretty well, and I like the overall feeling of the song. Then we get into the song entitled The One. The One opens with a piano intro, which leads into Tyler's vocals. And, yeah, this is definitely the softest track on the album, as it doesn't feature any electric guitar or anything like that. But, it's a nice refreshing change from all the heavier stuff on the album. I wouldn't say this track is one of my favorites, but it's not bad at all. It's a nice effort. <sighs> and then we get into Living My Life Like a Country Song. And it sounds just like you think it would, like a generic country song. And I cannot stand generic country music, so you can probably tell I don't like this song. Even though Joe Don Rooney of Rascal Flats makes an appearance on this track, and there was a very, very brief moment in my life where I like, kind of liked Rascal Flats. Did not last long though. Maybe a month at the most. And then we get into World War Me, which brings the album back into its heavier vibe. The song is okay, but I mean, it doesn't really do anything for me. It just kind of feels bland, and that whole I am my enemy thing is a bit overdone at this point in music. Unless it's done very well. And it wasn't done very well here. It was meh. In Ruins doesn't pull me in at all. The song structure is dull, the vocals are boring, and the whole song is just a big yawn fest, if you ask me. And then we get into the final song, The Sun Has Set On Me. And it opens with an intro that consists of the sound of children laughing, followed by a crow cawing. Uh, that then breaks into the instrumentals, which goes into the vocals, which are a bit dark in both content and presentation. This track also features some great riffs and some incredible vocal presentation from both Tyler and backing vocals as well. Uh, overall, everything in this song works. It's a great track to close the album with. For the most part, flow is pretty good on this album. There are a few inconsistencies, but, you know, when you go from heavy to not heavy, that happens sometimes. And, you know, this is probably the heaviest album that Theory of a Dead Man has ever released. Even though there are a few not so heavy songs in the album, like Angel and Living My Life Like a Country Song and Blow. But, for the most part, kind of heavy. My favorites Drown, Misery of Mankind, Panic Room, and The Sun is Set on Me. Least favorites Blow, Living My Life Like a Country Song. 
and in ruins. Overall, the album gets a 7 out of 10. It's not as bad as album review TV thought, if you ask me. Definitely not worth a 1 out of 5. But, to each his own. To each his own. I'm not taking anything away from the guy. You know, he has his opinion, I have mine. That's where we are. Anyway, what did you guys think of the album? Do you like this Theory of a Dead Man album? Do you like Theory of a Dead Man at all? Let me know. Facebook, SKFM, links in description down there. That's it. That Edmund Guy, signing off.